Hi guys, Ryu here from Blender Bros and in this video I'm gonna show you how to remove HDRI reflections from a glass in your renders. Let's go! So if you're rendering something in Blender in Cycles and you're using HDRI to light your scene and using glass, you probably by default will notice that you're gonna see something like this, which is, you know, environment reflection in your glass. You can easily remove it with notes, it's very easy, and you can get results like this, which is preferable. Now, if you're new to Blender and you're just starting and you're still confused, we have a fantastic free course for you prepared specifically for people who are just getting into Blender and it's going to help you with understanding all the menus, everything you need to know for creating amazing hard surface models, how to model from start, how to render, how to even edit your renders. So the whole process is explained and it's a brilliant introduction to Blender from Blender Bros. It's free, it's on our website, link in the video description, so grab it and enjoy. So now let me show you how to create these nodes. So we're gonna grab a cube and most of you are using hard ops for adding mats and you know, working in Blender. So I'm just gonna very simply add a glass with hard ops, alt M and shift click on material to add glass. And if you don't have hard ops, there is a link in the description. Grab this add on, especially with bundled with box cutter because it's brilliant. Now you want to change the settings in notes. You wanna change these notes a bit because this is not really a perfect glass. It will, for example, not allow shadows and sunlight from Azure through the glass. So we want to change that. So what you want to do is you want to remove this rubbish here. You want to introduce light path, okay, node. You want to plug the in shadow ray to factor and you want to swap these two nodes. So transparency to the bottom and glass to the top, right? That's a glass. Now what you want to do here is you want to um, drop the roughness to something like 0 0.001, okay? And that's a glass with reflections and all you need. Now, the problem is you can see that we have reflections of the environment. You can clearly see the lake and, you know, the trees and all this rubbish. It doesn't fit in the image because we have a sci-fi image. What we want is the lighting because the lighting is superb. It's very flat, very even, it's beautiful, but the reflections are shit. So you want to get rid of them. So what you want to do, you want to duplicate these nodes. So drag your mouse like that, shift D them in here, and we're going to shift D that, um, mix shader okay and we're gonna plug it in in here right so plug it in in here and what we want to do is plug this one in the bottom and this one in the top okay so now here in the top we're gonna have the real glass which is the in shadow ray plugged into factor but in the bottom what we're gonna do is we're gonna run the glossy into factor this is going to remove reflection so now with this mix shader here what you can do you can either, okay, remove all the reflections or you can introduce all the reflections, all right? So you can just dial it down, sort of, okay? So now if I'm going to remove all the reflections and then dial down a little bit back, okay, I'm going to get some reflections, all right? But they're going to be tiny. So you will kind of see reflections and light breaking through the glass can look natural, but you will not see any reflections from the edge, right? Because it's such a small percentage that you just can't see that and this is exactly how i created this glass here and uh, so let me just show you very quickly the nodes one more time so we got the uh, top nodes here which is basically a transparent and glass plugged into mix shader with in shadow ray light path on the bottom you have the same setup but we just plug in in glossy ray which remove the reflections and then we have both mix shaders plug to another mix shader with a factor slider which we can basically adjust the amount of reflections that we see in a glass and that's how you do it thanks for watching see you in the next one